most well-known figures in the conspiracy movement, has built his entire career on exposing you know, the global conspiracy orchestrated by reptilian extraterrestrials and their human agents. And Ike explicitly ties these reptilian beings, whom he calls the Archons, just like the Gnostics did, to the God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and his angels. And according to Ike, <laughs> Yahweh and the angels are not benevolent <laughs> beings, but rather the same reptilian entities that seek to control and enslave humanity. And Ike frequently <laughs> cites Gnostic texts like the Secret Book of John to support. Well, cheers, everyone. <laughs> cheers, ma'am. Corinth, I'm going to drop you off for Ooh. a few minutes, man. I'll put you back. Okay. What's up, Ben? You out of prison now? Hey, yeah, yeah. I spent 12 fucking days in prison for going for a walk with my daughter. Can you yeah, you shave your arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> walk all over the back. Let me see that arm hair, Perfect. buddy. <laughs> I was in prison with a guy who shaved every follicle of hair on his body. I, have I know, I know a guy like that. Yeah. <laughs> was his name West? <laughs> Wait, was his name Wesley? <laughs> ben was his name I Wesley. Saw, I, 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 I saw that that clip with that guy Wesley. That was funny. That, that was guy, funny. You got titties. That guy was what? <laughs> that was a funny interaction. That guy was tweaking. I, I yeah, I don't he know was what fucking crazy. Mario was, but uh, pull the testosterone. Yeah. yeah. Listen, I have something I want to say about uh, this problem. You guys must know. You have any idea what these domestic violence laws like what they're about i've been researching it it's fucking crazy women have total power over our lives and these laws which were passed by joe oh Biden, wait a second ben just a yeah. couple weeks ago all right andrews an evil red pill shill that are talking about the fucking matrons who are in society <laughs> now suddenly you're at the mercy of these bullshit ass laws and now you don't think are. so do you yeah, yeah. No, but but you change the fucking about thing, ben? But you're not going to win by putting women down. That's not going to work. You got to get them on. We got to get them on our side. By oh, yeah, down, yeah. Let's put it. Chairs. What <laughs> kind of slippery <laughs> bullshit is it? Absolutely right. No, no, no. Let me ask Josie. Josie, do you like physicality in, in relationships with men? Do you like oh, the physicality? Yeah. Dude, you're asking the wrong chick right now. Oh, I don't know. Question. I Josie, can you decide what to have for dinner later on tonight? Would you like to travel around the world in a camper? <laughs> I think women like physicality. I think they like physicality. I don't think they mind if it's a little, little bit like an anger at times. Do you but mean like, not crazy. or like, what do you like mean? Pushing, being pushed around and pushing guys around is part of the fun of having a relationship as an adult. No? You know, yeah. Are you like talking about in the bedroom or just period? Just in general. Period. I'm talking about period. Like how you slap people around when she forgets the whipped cream. is big important part of human interaction now it's called violence because well i don't know i don't know what that is like violence <laughs> hi brian pushed by someone anything like that and you go to jail for it and it doesn't even matter if the woman this is the fucking thing about it women are not considered to be able to make decisions on their own about physicality the state comes in and throws the men in jail who they deem as the like aggressor because yeah, but it's the evil red pill man. women are seen the evil well, red pill is stupid. Look, it's fighting for men's <laughs> rights are stupid i don't think women are stupid no I, you said the red pill was stupid and they're out there fighting for men's rights so that shit didn't happen like what happened to you bro Damn. They're not fighting for men's rights. When, when they the are dude, they're trying to repeal those domestic laws. violence laws. I can show you group after group that is. But see, I don't think you should argue it for men's rights. It's actually women and children that lose when men are taken out of the home. Men that would be don't... men's rights then, because the patriarchy is what keeps this shit together. You know this. This is part of your faith, too. I understand, but like what I'm saying is, you guys are here beating up this guy because he has a dick and wants to fuck, right? No, we're teasing this guy. I'm a grown ass fucking man. This guy, this guy, hang on, hang on, Ben. This guy's a, he's a personal friend of mine. I can fucking, I can razz him if I want to. Fine, yeah. If you're bantering, Ben, man, don't worry about me, bro. This dude. The thing we got problem with is these fake glasses. No, 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 no. Let's White be, let's be very clear. This guy, Mr. Enigmatic, cake, over here, he like 
sent me all these like worried, concerned things that I'm abusive of my daughter, who's an adult. No, I didn't. Who runs around on the internet. Who Mr. Enigmatic never bro, said that, dude. We, we see some bro, Ben, ben we normal. talked. What is this? Bro, yeah, okay, Ben, yeah, we've I've talked once, and it was like two years ago. So what are right, you talking okay, about? Your thing is like the people on the right. A lot of times, especially Christian men. How do you know what my women, thing is? I've, I've never said my thing on air, dude. Like You're just talking babies, out of your ass. Little princesses that we have to protect. That's <laughs> who thinks that? Women. Ben, okay. ben, 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 Ben. Love it. This Ben, Ben. This is the Ben makes shit up hour, okay? So, <laughs> <laughs> relevant. Don't fucking speculate about it's my true. thing when I've never said my thing ever. <laughs> So just, hang on, hang on, hang on, real quick, guys. You know, hang on, real quick, because we gotta fund, we gotta fund the stream, and we'll make sure to give some over to our good friend Grid One Motorsports. Make sure that you subscribe to his channel. Wigan yeah, Wall. He says guys. zebra. He says zebra's all right, even if half his dad didn't raise him. <laughs> it's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, the sarcastic saint for five bucks says Josie has those crazy Stephanie McH McHammond eyes. 90 if you shave all the body and face hair you will look like a hairless chihuahua grid you are a fucking legend yeah. legend true all right so anyway so anyway back to your prattle bin go ahead <laughs> <laughs> well i see i don't think i don't think women shut up ben kick ben kick ben <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm teasing you, no, ben. you go ahead bro. Power trip here, bro. i'm joking ben calm down here. calm oh, down ben here. Because they're more attractive, more educated, more intelligent, and bring more interesting points to the that you can't do that here. Grid one's not your butt boy. Oh hey, uh, hey, 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 Ben, about? Ben, uh, did you get graped in prison, bro? <laughs> <laughs> did it happen? Did you drop the so? Are you still wearing your prison garb? Orange is the new black. Is <laughs> Orange is the new black. I was in a jumpsuit. I had a great time with the guys in prison. A lot of them it's are. A, there. Sure Whoa. you did. Yes, sure you did. Damn. Damn. Just, 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 just clip just that part, okay? Please, I need that for a second. Yeah, I had a great, a great time. I had a great prison. time with the guys. In prison. Yeah, I had a, the best time. <laughs> I haven't said that for a week. I did. It was interesting. Can you smile so we can see if you have all your teeth? Go like this. Go like this. Smile. <laughs> yeah, he's well, denied. Oh, go because you're all pussies. You're afraid to go to prison. I'm not afraid to go to prison. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, right. Calm, down, yeah. calm down, Wes. Wes, calm down. A real man goes to prison, Wes. A real man goes to prison. Real men go to prison. <laughs> real men shave their arms, Ben. I learned that today. Show me your Shady. fucking arm hair right now, Ben. If you're a real man, <laughs> show me your tummy. Show me your arm hair. Show right me your now. tummy. Yeah, and then show me. Yeah, I don't really <laughs> handle that stuff. Wow. <laughs> it's not for you to well, understand. <laughs> women don't get persuaded by debating. That's why I don't understand these shows that are like putting women down. I saying, agree with that. The people who are on the fence. In a certain right. way, it's not about the women. It's about really the audience. Really Use your fucking brain, Ben. Yes, they do get persuaded. Why do you think that women don't get persuaded? Well, you, well no Andrew, you say that the, like the number one thing that uh, Christianity is about is about sex. It is not Jesus. That's Christ not what I say. Like, you just made that up. <laughs> you say that it's not like the, like the top thing. Up. No, no it is not pride. Would say that. Is. Pride is. Pride is the number one thing. Jesus had a problem not with prostitutes. He had a problem with Pharisees, people who went around talking about what religion is and trying to stone women, which is what happens a lot on these podcasts. You're just oh like throwing rocks at women. I don't think that's a good strategy. Dude, don't, don't, and we're don't, going I've to never seen a rock thrown. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm so, pretty sure so okay. Well, let's engage. Rocks, well, let's engage uh, with it, Ben. Let's engage that. with the criticism. Yeah. Can we start with the first statement of "I run around and say that what Christianity is about is sex"? You say number. You say one of the main things that Christianity teaches is that sex is a really, really, uh, you know, dangerous thing. It is not. No. Sex is fun. That's not. Sex I've never. I've never even said that world. once. You just made it up. Okay, well, but, hey, but Ben, do you agree with me that sex out of wedlock and promiscuity is a dangerous thing for Christians? I, I obviously, yeah, I, I, I'm a Christian, so I think that there are dangers in sex. There are bigger dangers. In... Well, then why why are you arguing with me on this point? You understand, well, because... you know for sure what promiscu well, promiscuity does to people. You know that, and you know what Paul said. Has... You know what Paul said about sexual sin. And yeah, it, why it is that sexual sin is more damaging than most other types because you're damaging your own flesh. 
yourself, right? So it's its own yeah. punishment. So we don't need a bunch of people telling us, like guys who have anal sex with other guys. That's its own punishment. You don't need to really like have this big uh, argument with them. It's its own punishment. That's yeah. Plausible. But what about when it becomes a social contagion, Ben? Which it has. Why does it become a so social contagion? Because guys like you say it just punishes itself. That's why it becomes a fucking social contagion, dumbass. Guys tell you not to be gay? No. Why would anyone want to be gay? What's no, the because the What's social the contagion, the social What's contagion, the the bro, asshole? the social Nothing. contagion starts with the malleable. That's the children. You know this. You know this. You no. know that the social contagion starts with the malleable mind, and no. the malleable mind is the child. Children don't become gay because they're, they're in school and whatever. They become oh, gay. sure. So no, since no, the social it's guys oh, like you make it no, like I'll, I'll, I'll disagree with that. because you're like you're a degenerate. You're a degenerate. Oh, so let me get this right. Let me get this right. This social contagion, which has led to this drastic increase in people identify as being LGBTQ, that has nothing to do with anything. The social contagion is not dangerous. Nothing to even worry about. They're just going to punish themselves. Right, Ben? Well, here's the problem. Sometimes you treat the symptoms and you miss the disease. Okay, you're right? gonna leave your kids with a. The are you gonna leave your kids with a gay guy, Ben? Put those erections ben, inside a window. Ben, are After you gonna leave symptoms. your? Are you gonna leave your kids with a gay guy? Depending on the gay guy. Yeah, of course, course. you would. You think gay guys oh, are no. dangerous intrinsically? No, they're yes. not. Yes, especially the ones who are. I wouldn't leave them with a guy who's like a fake heterosexual guy like a lot of these guys on the right those are the scary ones if you're just open those gay, are the scary ones the straight guys harmless for the most part everything yeah. that you're saying is is exactly the opposite of what you just said a minute ago you're saying that like oh well you you trick you're saying <laughs> the symptoms don't exist you're saying you're not you're the one trying to treat the symptoms and we're no. saying we're going for the root <clears throat> and you're saying that's the wrong way to approach it the root is the way to approach it. You've got to affirm sexuality. You've got to affirm male sexuality. And uh, then you can, all right. Hey, of course there all are. Right. I'm, I'm going to jump in here on this one, pal. Uh, oh. No, that's that's incorrect. Oh, I, I mean, no, no, that's not how that works. Well, that's not an argument saying no, no is not an argument. How about an argument, dude? Well, the problem you is have, the whole fun of one life, piece of evidence. energy, the whole fun of What's life, up, and he's talking. Energy, masculine energy is what makes the world go round. Women sure. only reflect it. Yeah, and nobody, it's a fun party nobody's when the disputing men are allowed that, to be men. Yeah, and that nobody's disputing it. Penises, balls, and everything that goes Bro. with it. And it gets a little. Yeah, but you're still cold, contradicting your fun. own statement. You know that there is a social contagion element to this. And you just pretend like it's going to weed itself out. It has not weeded itself out. It has grown exponentially due to propagandizing the youth. How the fuck could you ever make no. an argument that that's not true? I can show you the graphs, Ben. You know it's true. We've talked about it. You know it's true. What What are you saying? Is that like the liberal whatever, blah, 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 is going to... What I'm uh, saying is that if you look at bra how brainwashing operates in the mainstream, and okay, I, yes. I'm sure that... Hang on, stop. Let me finish my point, and then you can respond to it. Sure, no How it way. works is that there's a there's a, a threshold. There's about 15 percent of the population which could never be brainwashed no matter what you do. They're <laughs> stubborn. They fuck it. They just refuse. OK, then there's a on the other end of the spectrum. There's about 15 percent who basically will follow any trend that they see. And then everybody else kind of falls in between the spectrum. This is due to yeah. the research of MK Ultra. You would agree that's probably true. OK, I MK Ultra was a failure. You can't brainwash people. <laughs> it was not a failure. It worked. No, it yes. doesn't work. You can't brainwash people. Well, they still work. use it today. Movie. What do you mean? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? what? The Union, they had everything on their side. They had total and ultimate power. Ultimately, over time, people said, this is bullshit. We don't want to do it. It doesn't matter how many fucking gulags you give us. We are going to resist. We want to be Christians. And they are now. No, coming. that's not that and the opposite. Ben, you clearly are not familiar with the research because the opposite happened. What happened is most people who engaged in the program were susceptible to brainwashing, including their sexuality over time. That is what the CIA, I mean, when the CIA, no, not a little bit. When the CIA declassified these documents, it was stunning what we were able to glean when they were able to use psychedelics and brain probes in order to move people. Yes, Ben, it is true. I can send you the doc. What do you want? Dude, there's thousands of pages about this. There's okay. movies which have been made Andrew, about it. 
that express this. Now, hang on. Let me finish. The social contagion which, which exists goes after the most malleable. The most malleable are those whose brains are still developing. For you to, to make this fucking insane claim that propaganda on children doesn't work. Fuck, it worked with us. It worked uh, with us when we were kids. Andrew, Andrew, what generation is now the generation that least is in favor of transgender ideology? Zoomers, the kids who have been brainwashed. No, they're the most in favor. Are no, you, but, you, but they, no, 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 there's no, no but they're the most in favor. Hey, on, One in four, bro. One in Don't four lie. Zoomers oh, identify as being LGBTQ. One something. in four. One Don't in lie. four, Ben. 25%. One in four. I understand there's a lot of it out there, but there's also... No, no, no. <laughs> you just said that they're the most against it. One in four identifies as being in that group. One I know, but in there's four. also a large movement against it. And, and a lot of Yeah, from millennials. From millennials. Not from Zoomers. Zoomers are pushing back against it because they understand. No, that it's the most they're bad. not. Crazy Millennials isn't. are. Yes, human no. nature. Always in the end, in the long term, it's on the side of tradition. Men are men, women are women. <laughs> Bro, the Zer thing. It didn't listen. Work. The pronoun all of, thing, it, it did work. work. It's Failed. still working. They still identify that generation. One in four identifies this way. It's fucking insane. There's no way you could say that's not a social contagion. Ben, on top of that, it is the millennials and boomers who are the most against it. The older generations are the ones who are most against it. You have this whole on chart. Hang on. You have this whole chart backwards. It's literally backwards. You're saying that the people who are the least malleable are the people gravitating towards it. My claim is no, the people who are most valuable are, and I have the evidence proving it. Where's your fucking evidence for this, Ben? I have Zoomer kids. I know they don't buy it. They don't buy it. Oh, come on, dude. You can't just be like my kids who were raised by a Catholic patriarch don't buy it. That's bullshit, Ben. They don't buy it. They see the bullshit. They see that. Oh, I'm sorry. Did your two kids not buy it, Ben? By acting like a victim, and they don't buy it. It, it's true. What and does that have to do with anything? Black people victim mentality either anymore. They so, okay, so your neighbors, Zoomer kids, do buy it. Now your argument's negated. That's not an argument, Ben. Some do, but I'm saying in the long Dude, One in four, Ben. Experience. Look, we're part of a generation that was introduced to divorce. Our generation has rejected divorce, but we don't have a better solution than a lot what, of us. Your generation's the most likely to be divorced, you fucking yes. dumb fuck. What but do you mean? Not. But we you don't are. Buy boomer, but we don't buy the boomer idea that divorce is a, a salve of bad marriages. It's, yes, not you. only. I, I've ben, never heard this much. Ben, in one human ben, being. not only is your generation the most likely to get divorced, but you are the most likely to fall susceptible to the propaganda of why divorce needed to be no fault. On top of no. that, yes. Bro, the proof is there. I don't know. How do you dispute? We have the numbers. Our generation experienced, this is what happened, Andrew, with time. Our generation experienced the bullshit that divorce is like liberating is going to make all women happy. Yeah, propaganda, and it worked. Okay, Ben. So the propaganda worked? So the propaganda worked on the malleable mind? Okay, in the short term. Yeah, yeah. that's right, Ben. In the short term, yes. In the long term, Dude, you just got fucking wrecked. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. The sarcastic saint for five bucks says, why are we listening to a man who looks like a 70s porn star? Ben, the first day you land in jail, you'll be whining in someone's new boyfriend. Actually, he just came out of jail. So in Ben's defense, for whatever that's worth. uh, And by the way, Ben, I'm going to be as charitable as I can to you. I don't think you deserve to to be in jail. I talked. I, you know, I, I never thought so. Um. No, John, ridiculous. John sends in five bucks. I appreciate that, John. Uh, Neo Federalist for five bucks says Jesus said, "Go and sin no more." Ben to the adulterous woman. Right, you're the worst representation of Catholicism I can imagine. Stop making up doctrine. Yeah, he said. I'm not. I'm not advocating for promiscuity. It sure I'm sounds saying, like you are. In fact, you no, even say there's no, no, no social no, contagion. No, no. No, Andrew, you talk about a hierarchy of sins, right? And you like, No, I, it's I, not I'm a hierarchy of sins. That's not what I'm talk. saying. Talk. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right. You you these these people I understand this Protestant thing you say like they you're saying stealing a penny is the same thing as murdering right. someone and they go, "Yeah, right. I understand what they're saying is sin is sin, but it's ridiculous to not say there's a hierarchy." Now there's also a hierarchy of uh of sin outside of that, but like sexual sins generally speaking, especially for men, it's important to say 
it's a problem that men have generally. Yeah, like, but the Orthodox the general, don't. Woman yeah, but just to clarify, Ben, the Orthodox don't don't believe it the same way that you do. We believe that sin is a sickness, that all sin will enhance the sickness. All of it will enhance the sickness. Just saying that it's it's some, something to be said about the equivocation when it comes to saying that a penny is as sucking 100 dicks last week is. Of course not. That's going to enhance the sickness. However, the sin is still right. abhorrent. So these two things are right. not incompatible. We don't believe in the hierarchy of sin like you do. Made by Jim Bob says Ben Thorpe eliminates joy. Yeah, we were having a good stream. Make it fun again, <laughs> fucking Ben. You fucked the whole thing up. It was a circle jerk of you, dude. It was boring. <clears throat> It wasn't it was boring. It was a great time. Like, we were, we're all, all having fun. All all right, all right. Well, well, Ben. Fun. Well, Ben. What we'll do? Oh, no. we'll, we're we're fun. Fun. We'll, we'll chuck you. We'll chuck you off the panel. We'll go back to having fun. You're not interested. Yeah. <laughs> Loser. 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 your fucking arms, man. Dude, 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 hey, first of all, first of all, I did not know we had two women on a fucking panel. Excluding people who have actual mental deficiencies, right? Which is, do you know what the mental illness rate is in women? <laughs> I'm talking, you're saying just dumb. Like, just dumb. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with fucking a dumb girl, there's yeah. nothing wrong with fucking a dumb guy. Yeah, so right, so, that's not taking advantage of them because so they're dumb. So your idea is here, yes, that if you have a low IQ, right? I'm not it, IQ testing these girls. Yeah, bro. I, I get it, but you can make specific exploitative systems which go towards people who have lower IQs, which are exploitative this systems. This entire country is founded on taking advantage of dumb people. Whether, that's all we do. Even even that's if literally all we even do. if that was true, why would it Some make dudes it right? Some has sex with this. Even if that was true, why would it be right? Because not everything is like right or so it's you can yeah, have I wrong think, things I, in the world. You yeah. can have wrong things and in the world. And they shouldn't. You should be correcting wrong things in the world, right? You shouldn't be you shouldn't be assisting them. You're not like, oh, we got a fire and it's burning everything down. Let's go pour gasoline on it. That's fucking insane. So you know the dumb people shouldn't fuck. No, what I'm saying is that you should not create systems which take advantage of people the same way that if I said, Look, I only go for like half retarded chicks Long and take advantage, you would be like, That's horrible. I've never heard anyone say that. Good though. point. Right. I only exploit prostitutes that are addicted <laughs> right. to heroin. <laughs> but it's not immoral because reasons. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sure, you, they, they have tons of addiction that problems. Guy's a sick By the fuck. way, yeah. many of you send me a DM. Oh, he like fuck. How's he a sick fuck? Send me he a DM. Goes, he goes after heroin addicts. No, bro. Get you need to get fucked too. Girls, yeah, that's the fuck. The girls weird. who go on your podcast, I've listened to many of your interviews. They talk about all of the drugs that they've been that they've abused. They talk about their drug issues that they've had, how it's rampant in that industry. They talk about it many, many times. And, and, but many drugs, as other women, though. Yeah, but drugs not as many as other women. Sure. but sure. And and I'll tell you i know a lot of chefs that are I'll fucking tell you, degenerates you know, too right sex work is such a bro Jesus. robert tanner donated 100 dollars. <laughs> these two individuals have what's called cognitive dissonance andrew and brian can you please explain what that it is to them slavery is an example what, what does that mean cognitive dissonance just means that you have oh, a position which is untenable but you refuse to abandon it because you're emotionally invested in it and once you have to focus on it. It's very uncomfortable. Oh, when I mean, get very uncomfortable. You, thank you, no, I think I think we're no, also, fine. but I think you're thank doing you, a lot of Tanner. equating Tanner. two Tanner. phrases Tanner. about the same Tanner. thing. Tanner. Like Tanner. degrees of fraud are not the same thing as fraud. Fraud. Thank you. Right. Like so, so, I, I don't know what to concede, of but I'm willing. To, I conceded that point. Right. And dude, and the I concession just, to the concession to the point though. If I say there's there's uh, stealing a hundred million dollars is a way worse form of fraud than a hundred, I'm still gonna say stealing the hundred is fucking wrong and needs to be outlawed, just like the hundred million, right? Yeah. Am I wrong? Sh sure. Okay. Well, then I don't know what what what's my your argument, idea. But, but of... my argument is I don't care about those people. Oh, you don't care, so that solves the problem because you don't care. No, because there's no problem to me. I'm like, men are yeah, going to get scammed by women because men think with their dick, And dude. I think maybe that's where we... That, that's off. our stance yeah. is that we wake up happy every day, make mm -hmm. your bag, baby, let's have fun. You care, and that's great. But, but I, I don't even think these guys care as much as you do. If they found out, wait a second, that was, <laughs> that was Cherie DeVille's chatter the whole time? They're How not, could you demonstrate that? Other than I just feel like... I can't wait to see what happens because I don't think right, anyone's going to give a shit. Emotion. Why are they giving millions to AI? That's fucking well, crazy to so me. So, again, you can take what is called the loneliness epidemic, which is going on inside of the United Thank States you. and most Western nations, called herbivorism in Japan. This started a long, long time ago. 
that yes, men who have a primary edict of reproduction, okay? It's called herbivorism in Japan? Yeah, they call them herbivores. What, because they just started, eat grass? Isn't that a yeah, vegan? Yeah, yeah, it's it's like that, an they, animal. They, that, they don't, they're not calling them that there for... It's their version of soy boy? Yeah, it's their version. No, it's just their version of MGTOW. They checked okay. out. Okay. okay, right? They're done. They're done with women. They're done with this, whatever. Oh, I can't wait. If you, if you associate loneliness, right, we are tribal by nature. What you can do is you can break people's barriers down, their emotional barriers, and then take advantage of them. Isolation like what we had during, and I, I saw your take on uh, the lockdowns. I thought it was a fairly good take, right? What take? Where, well, I think this was you where you were like, man, I, I was a pretty anti-vax, right? Was that you or was that you? I don't remember which one. I wasn't a Vax guy at all. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. So I you, told yeah. you my stance on the. Oh yeah. What we yeah, yeah same. Right. Yeah. So the thing is, is that because of this isolation which happened, you did see an explosion. Remember that uh, Pornhub, these other places took advantage of this and said, "We're going to give you free entry." Right? We're going to give you free entry. These guys are lonely. They, now they're not communicating. Now they're stuck at home. Yes, it's taking advantage of people. You can break down barriers. You can run what are called psychological operations to do this. They've been done for the last 200 years in the United States. I'm sure that you guys know that this is an actual thing. And yeah, you can, you can push down barriers of men to go towards these horrific things uh, by isolation and through propaganda. And that's exactly what's going on here. So this is not good for anybody. It's not good for the girls. It's not good for the fucking John. It's not good for any of them. If you eliminated it tomorrow, you tell me what the problems would be. Tell me what the problems would eliminated be. Eliminated what? If you eliminated corn, OnlyFans, all of it tomorrow. If you had a magic wand. Oh, oh yeah, of course. Hang I'll on, hang you. on. Yep. I snapped it. Yep. It's all gone. What are the problems? I don't know. So I don't the, know. So the problems would be that, like selling illegal crack or, or, or selling illegal weed or illegal shrooms mm -hmm. is fucking people up. When, when it's not regulated or safe or an environment, mm -hmm. the problem isn't to eliminate it. It's how do we make it safe? Well, then how come when we have these nations where they do have legalized prostitution, for instance, you, we still see the human trafficking and just read you the stats go through the roof versus the nations which make it across the board illegal? The United Nations looked at this issue. The United Nations went, okay, the amount of trafficking that we see in nations where we have legalized prostitutions through the fucking roof. They even made a recommendation that such sex work is not only not liberating to women, but exploitative. And the reason that they thought so was because of the human trafficking and underage element, which always seemed to creep its way in. Pre-corn in the United States, these issues were not present. They were not there. Meaning, where was the big issue in the 1950s? What was it? What, were the, what was the thing well, in the 1950s? There was, there was no was internet. Yeah, there was, there was, there no, was, yeah, there was no access. And you, you, you lived take all corn off though. the internet tomorrow with a snap, snap of the finger. Most people would not have access to it. Most people would not have even access to an ISP if the cable company didn't give them you one. You know, it would be interesting to see what happens. What do you think would happen? I, we're too dumb to tell you. Yeah, yeah, who, knows? who knows? But right, like, the I, negative ramifications are, I don't know. It could go one or two ways. It could go one or two ways. I don't know what the negative ramifications are. It could be a great thing. It could be. It could a be like thing. the bees, dude. You don't want to get rid of the bees, That's okay? Right. So mm -hmm. let's not get rid of porn. Because <laughs> who, who knows what will happen? It could. There is a chance that it could go really bad. Because okay, what does that look like? Now they're producing it themselves. It's these fucked up, unsafe places. They're not getting tested, mm -hmm. and it's but, all underground. It's all underground. And it's on the dark web. Yeah, and so it greatly reduces this issue down to a very manageable issue. Yeah, but this issue isn't mm -hmm. really causing that many problems. It's causing a lot of problems. I just went over many, many Wait, of you're them. Talking about like the CP and all that shit? Not just that. That's just one aspect of it. He brings up the, the interest of fraud. You also have what are legalized pimps who basically will move after these underage girls uh, to kind of groom them into that industry by the time they so turn all, 18. So all the problems are illegal Are you saying acts. all those pimps will just They're get regular jobs? Acts, right? You just want to make it safer. Make them legal pimps and then it's fucking safe and fine. Well, the, the, my stance on prostitution is not the same as porn. At all. That's because you create this differential that does not need to exist, which is if that camera is on me while I'm doing a sex act, then it's not prostitution if I'm getting paid. That makes no fucking sense, and I need you to square that for me. No problem. Totally. Go ahead. Okay. Here's the difference, all right? I was actually talking to a porn star, a male porn star who's been doing it 25 years, and he's married to another female porn star. Yeah. He lets her shoot. She lets him shoot. They're cool with it. Mm -hmm. He will not let her escort. He will not let her go in a hotel room with a guy. And he says, when she's shooting for Brazzers, mm -hmm. it's seven, eight people on set. It's very professional. They come on hair and makeup. They sign all these things. They talk. 
there's no lists and we're gonna do this. They break down the scene, all this and that. It's scripted perfectly of how they want it. And then really, I've been on porn sets. It's not really fucking, man. It's, okay, now do this, now do that, great. All right, cool, good day. When you're in a hotel room with this fucking freaky old man that you don't know anything about, mm -hmm. and you got to do whatever he says to get your money from him at the end of it, uh -huh. a whole different ballgame. Yeah, that really doesn't explain how the exchange of money for sex with camera and added people makes this not prostitution. What is your it's definition this, of prostitution? It would be the exchange of sexual intercourse or sexual favors for money. Well, if you call it that, sure. But we're talking like, about... Well, well, hang on, wait, wait, hang, on wait. hang on. What would your definition of it My be? My definition of prostitution is... Look, there's two terms, right? When we discuss prostitution regularly, yes, it's someone selling their, you know, pussy for money or dick for money, yeah. right? Right. But the general prostitution of like, yeah, we all kind of exploit our bodies one way or another. Yeah, you don't see my dick in everyday life because who wants to see it? But like my body's been exploited. My parents' bodies have been exploited, right? They've sold their bodies to corporations. My mom's worked 50 hours yeah, a week. What does that have to do with sex? I'm just saying it's a form of prostitution. She yeah, sold her no, body. No, no, no. So if that was the case, then you would consider everything prostitution. Yeah. If that's the case. I'm a whore right it, now. Well, I'm here. Then if that's, <laughs> I'm literally a prostitute. Then, well, actually, then, I'm not. I'm an intern because you won't give me if any that's money. The case, <laughs> if that's the case, then we can't categorize anything as prostitution. Well, exactly, because you're rotting the term too much. Hang on. Right. If everything's prostitution, then nothing, then nothing is. is. Thank you. We there, we're good. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, that would be that would just mean your definition is meaningless. So the definition, which you would actually to point meaning. to the category of the thing. So like, if everything's a cup, nothing's a cup, right? We have no category for cup. Yes. So we do need to have a category for cup. Otherwise, we can't identify what a cup is. We need to have a category for what a prostitute you're, you're is. You're saying sexual. Or we can't identify what a prostitute is. You're saying is. sex for money is prostitution. Yeah. Yeah. That's, okay, that's, but yes. I'm categorizing Can you give me a it, different definition than that that makes more sense? I mean, I'm categorizing it differently. I look at prostitution as. What about you're sneaking around trading sex for money from the government? Would it matter if it was from, then? What is legal prostitution? It's, who you're, it's who's paying you. Is it the corporate company or is it the guy that's fucking you in his hotel? That's the difference for me. So if you had like a ranch, like a Vegas ranch, where the guy went in, negotiated the rate with your corporate pimp, and then went in the room and slept with you, and then just went and go went, paid your corporate pimp on the way out. That's not prostitution. That's some uh, something else. Let me ask you this. No, no. Answer my question before you ask me one. If you're answer doing, one. If you're doing answer amateur one before form, you ask one. Okay, can you repeat the question? Yeah, the question is, so if you went in and you paid a corporate pimp who took you to the back room so you could screw the, the corporate prostitute, yeah. and then you left, how's that not a prostitute under your definition here? No, that is. Well, well that's, then, a, that's a brothel. So then what, that's a brothel. Then what is the distinction here? Well, I'm, I'm confused about what the argument what we're arguing. Like what I'm I arguing is I, I want to know what a prostitute actually is and why my definition of exchange is sex or sexual favors for money. So let me ask what you what would be your better definition? So let me ask you this. Uh -huh. Let's say my girlfriend and I yeah. start an OnlyFans during the pandemic mm -hmm. and we start fucking each other. Yeah. Are we each other's prostitutes in your eyes now because we're fucking for money? You would be prostitutes to the Johns who are watching. Sure. But why are we afraid, of, why are you, why are we afraid of that word? Yeah. Why can't we just call it Whatever. that? Yeah. Why can't if that's I'm what fine. you want to call it. I'm fine, your, like, I'm fine with your I'm definition. I'm fucking my girlfriend and dudes want to watch. That's what it I'm is. Not my girl is not a, a hooker. She's my girlfriend. Look, look, and we're I, at the end of the day, yeah, right? Yeah, to, wait, but Johns are paying you for the sex act. I'm fucking my girl. We're putting on, and they're paying us. Yeah. yeah. Watch it. So yeah. Johns are paying you for a sex act, so you would be? If you want to call it that. Prostitutes, yeah. You, you really think right, but, why is, that I don't, but I, why is that offensive? Yeah, that's not offensive. If right, that's what like, you I don't it, care if you call me you a prostitute if I'm acting like a prostitute. <laughs> Agreed, but we need to know what that is so we can say you are. That's fine. All I have no problem telling <laughs> I, a OnlyFans girl that she's a prostitute. Great, neither do I. That's, so then so then anytime I do, the idea that any of these porn stars go fucking smoke. crazy about it go, no, they're not. No, you well, can because, say that. Because, no, because it comes up from a, it comes more condescending, because right? When I call her a prostitute, it's the tone. It's the tone. It's the it tone. Is, it's you know, the way you when say you think it. of it, what it what I really call is. my friends like, yo, look at this tone. fucking hooker, right? When you think right? of the term hooker or prostitute or whore even, you think of a girl on the street waiting for a car to drive by to fucking You buy. think of that. That's what we all... That's what we yeah, all I don't think so. That's how we were trained. Do you think that that's what Muslims think? What do Muslims think, Andrew? Do you, do you think... I'm asking you. Do you <laughs> think that, that Muslims, for instance, or East Asians or No, they're like you. They think if you have sex, you go to hell. That's not my question. I'm asking what they would categorize a prostitute. And why, why should we go with your definition if I don't know what it is? 
I don't even know what it is. That's is what you're saying is, I don't even know what a prostitute is. There it is. You don't know? I think couples fucking on OnlyFans are not prostitutes at all. Yeah, but why? I'll tell you that. Why much. aren't they? Because they're not meeting a guy to fuck in their hotel for money. That's what I think a prostitute you, is. You, you're, uh, my definition of uh, prostitution is not a bad word to me. And I think you're interpreting it as a negative I thing. I kind of do, yeah. Right? I don't. Like, it's a blunt word yeah. for what you're doing. For but you're I have doing. no problem with that word, right? Yeah. You're still my friend and you could be a prostitute. Sure. I could care less. And all the I have power to couples friends. fucking on OnlyFans. I have so many friends that are prostitutes. All the power to them. Don't care. Yeah, I, okay. That's fine if you concede that you think that that's what a prostitute is. If you don't, then I need some criteria for why it's not that thing. I look at it like the way I see it is you hire this chick, you pay her to fuck you. Mm -hmm. Or do sexual acts for you, whatever, blowjob, who knows. Yeah. Or maybe shove something down your dick, yeah. up your ass, whatever it may be. But you pay yes. her to go hang out with her. Yeah, and unless I film it and then distribute it and now she's not a prostitute. If browsers <laughs> hires two girls to come on set with scripts and tests and they walk through a corporate fucking what if the day of what's is, happening, no, it's not. Yeah, so the script is three lines. The script is three lines, I, and, and it's filmed, yeah, it's totally, and, and we exchange the money. Totally different, yeah. Yeah, and you, you send it out, totally it's different. a completely different thing. Yeah, yeah based, but, on, based on you just made it the fuck up. Let's not bring Kiki into this. He's saying <laughs> that OnlyFans couples that? are prostitutes, and he lost me at that one. <laughs> he lost me at that one. I, I'm going to let a couple chats come in. I uh, just paused it temporarily to allow the uh, convo to go. Sorry, that, that was a uh, threshold. Why are you putting this guy up? $10. He doesn't deserve the attention. Yeah. We want $100. We want 100 bucks. They're coming. They're coming. Peacecraft donated $100. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Kirill, when you close your eyes, does the world disappear? Object permanent not stick. We have got to investigate the women who fucked Never literally you for fucking attard. Andy Ping. Wait, what? <laughs> All right. What does Ping Ping mean? Appreciate it. It's just like PNG, like picture. I don't know the term. Picture. Sorry. Oh, like I a thought, JPEG. Oh, okay. I thought there was a good fucking acronym. No, no it's like a JPEG. Yes, I mean, the world does disappear when what I close my eyes. What does PNG even stand? So I prefer for? to be asleep most what of the day. What does PNG stand for? Yo, JJ, thank you for the gift of ten subs. It's like a pixelated PNG something meaning? graphic. It stands for Portable Network Graphic. Great. I didn't know any of that. I'm a graphic designer. Whatever fan donated $100. Yeah, thank you, They man. are arguably even more stupid no. than only Van's bimbos. Don't say that. Props no. to Andrew nice. for sitting nice. there Dude, and trying stop? to break down simple huh? concepts to these low like IQ these. cucks. I am not saying that. That would be a great show, though, yeah, if you literally you, just sit there Appreciate roasting it. everyone. By the way. That would be funny. Would be, <laughs> that would be really funny. Like, I literally would pay someone to How sit many, there and just fucking. These guys sending these notes and saying these fucking OnlyFans bimbos, you guys think they live a good life with women. Oh, of course. You think they're getting laid they're all the time. They're all six foot seven. Yeah. Right? Huge oh, people. bring yeah. the tips yeah. in. They Robert must Tanner be, right? donated $100. It is proven by every major institution mm -hmm. that pornography, watching sex has yep. the same mm -hmm. effect as alcoholism, drug addiction sure. on the brain. Yep. These well, we two just are did no a shot. different from Thank a push you. to dot all studies yeah. show this. Robert, did you send me a DM, by oh, the way? Thank, yeah. you. Thank you, Robert. And like Alcohol it, is arguably sure. bad. We could talk about that. So, no problem Everything with it. in moderation. So, so here's the thing. Wait, everything in moderation? Those three like, things. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Go ahead, Andrew. When you're talking about the rates of damage, sure, you can make an argument that alcoholism is bad. There's no dispute here. But you know what I do with alcoholics? I don't say you should keep fucking drinking. What you do is you go, hey, let's get you in rehab. Let's get you away from alcohol. Let's get you to stop doing this damaging thing. Your argument here, the reason it makes no sense is because you're saying the opposite. You're like, ah, no, keep going and fucking sucking those dicks, girl, because it makes you happy. And you white knight for it. Why you're doing it? Well, what is That's the white the knight? That's the distinction. So saying, saying to, to me this idea of, but what about alcohol? Yeah, okay, well, alcohol can be bad, just like porn can be bad. But I'm not advocating over here that we don't treat and assist alcoholics. You're advocating, on the other hand, there's no problem with this behavior. I disagree with you because the alcoholics are the porn consumers. The porn stars are the creators of the beer, of the vodka, of the whiskey, and no one's coming at them. You're coming they do at them. come at them. You're coming at the they people that... They get sued constantly. Coming at porn <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah. Hello. Um, hello, Andrew. Hi. Uh, my main criticism of the show is the content itself. It's repetitive, low-form content that relies upon idiotic OnlyFans horse to clip farm, and largely, you have abused it to grow your own channel. Mm -hmm. 
not necessarily saying Brian should stop doing this type of. Oh, well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before you get through the rest, let's just do one criticism at a time. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So let's start with the first one. Almost none of the women who go on whatever are OnlyFans girls. Very oh, low. Oh, well, very low percentage well, of them. Uh, I mean, a low percentage, but what percentage of them are these types that post bikini pics on top of uh, like Instagram? Well, I mean, that's every that's that's something. basically every woman on planet Earth now. So uh, well. Every single one on planet Earth. I don't think a majority of people have access. I didn't to say that. It says basically, it's basically the well. Okay, so he's not bringing people in from all over uh, the world. He's bringing them in from the United States, and I would say that the chance of you finding women in the United States who are even mildly attractive don't have bikini pics is. Uh, I think that that's a very very tiny minority. Well, dude. Hold, hold, that's that's not what I said. I said that they're posting suggestive, sexually provocative photos on Instagram. You mean like most people. women? No, actually, it's not most women. Okay, well, how many would you say it is? Um, I don't think that's something that you quantify. I'll tell you what. Why don't we just go through... Say- why don't you just pull up random Instagram women right now, and let's just see how many of them who are attractive have no bikini pics or sexually provocative pics. How many do you think that's going to be? I mean, my mine is skewed towards my area, and I live in a pretty <laughs> conservative area, so I don't think it would No, be in very conservative areas to do the same thing. I don't. I don't know. Well, like, I mean, you, you, you asserting that doesn't make it true. Yeah, but you asserting you, you made the assertion first, actually. So the assertion that you made was one that these are only fans. Girls, not true. It's it's about thirty percent. So it's the minority of the women who go the, on there. Thirty percent is a lot. That's then, the. But that hang on. Is that is that a minority though, or the majority? It's, the, it's an overwhelming majority of the population. No, that would be an overwhelming minority of the guests who are on, right? Would be 30%. That would that leaves 70%, wait, 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 right? Hold, hold on. Hang hold on. on. No, no, no. You hold on. We're going to do one point at a time, okay? So that's a minority. You can you can try to gaslight it however you want. Say it's a lot, right? But it's still a minority of the wait, women. Wait, hang, hang on, bro. Wait a second. I mean, you interrupt Stop, me bro. Interrupt Let me finish, you. and then you can talk, I promise. Okay? You can gaslight it and say... Because uh, you started with, this is the majority of the women are on there. It's not true. And we know because it's actually been broken down. We actually have the stats of how many women are actually from OnlyFans. And then you kind of made this great pivot of, but what about women who have bikini pics and sexually provocative pictures, of which I would say that young, attractive women, the, the majority of them probably have something like that. So now you can respond. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the the reason why it's significant that you say thirty percent is because that's an overwhelming, um, what's it called, the exacerbation of like what the population is. Because I mean, the, the or overrepresentation. That's the word I'm looking for. It's overrepresentation of a small, minute part of women that's exacerbated with on the podcast for a specific reason to show the delusions of these said people because that they want to grow that their own because they have financial contingencies upon, uh, the their Instagram or their OnlyFans or their uh, chatterbait or whatever it be. Uh, my what what I was saying is that these are also the most vocal people on the podcast, so that's why it's perceived that a majority of these only fans girls that go on the podcast are a majority of the podcast. Okay, so would you make that same exact criticism towards race? Um, what what do you mean? About do you race? think that the whatever podcast needs to have the exact representation of uh, the amount of black people who are in the United States on the podcast, or they're racist? Wait, wait, hold on, Andrew. I never, I never said that the problem with the podcast is the representation. Of people well, that that podcast. is what you're saying. You're saying that. Hang on. Let me finish. Let, let me finish. Let me finish. Bro, let me I just finish. let you finish. My turn for the no, criticism. No, 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 you, no, you didn't. You interrupted me in the middle of my point. I said three words and you interrupted me. Okay. You didn't what say I three said, words. You're lying through your teeth. But go ahead. Oh uh, yeah, I said five, bud. Okay, nice one. But no, the whole point is that I'm telling you that these people do not necessarily need to be. He doesn't need to change the form of content. That is on the podcast because I do recognize that it is low form content because of the type of people that are on it and it's not intellectually rigorous. The issue is, is that you're engaging with it and lowering your standard of who you represent by because you know that this content gets views and you want to grow your own channel. It's it's purely a monetary and uh, like point that you have to be on that podcast. Okay, all you have to do now is prove that that's my motivation. Oh yeah, the the, la- the last three months mm-hmm. is a perfect example because I mean you shifted your content largely from debating on one on one to blood sport debates from to d- basically to directly, uh, purely like whatever podcast clips like OnlyFans horror gets wrecked. There has been like, zero decrease in the amount of one v one blood sport debates I've done. Zero. It, it doesn't matter about the decrease, but the overwhelming majority of your content has become. And I don't even know if that's true necessarily. No, either. No, it's not. I, I, but first of all, none well, of that's true. When you're talking Hold about on. when you're talking so about you're, making so stop saying, stop bro let me let me respond just let you finish 
I just let you finish. Okay, so again, no, I have not decreased the amount of 1v1 blood sport debates that I've had. Um, I haven't decreased any of my content. In fact, I've increased the amount of my content. So if you, you can see this, uh, particularly in TikTok invasions, tons of one-on-ones there, tons of 1v1s, which are moderated on other platforms. I just had a, a huge 1v1 with Destiny, uh, but I do them constantly, all the time. Almost anybody who wants to do one, I will do a 1v1 debate with. You saying that because I go on these other dating podcasts uh, and will debate with the people there too, how is that a criticism? I go on all t- sorts of shows and debate my worldview with the various guests who are there. No, you specifically targeted like low IQ, like parts of debate to try and grow your to try and grow your audience base. So, which I guess my critique is that. So who who up. okay who are the high IQ people I'm ducking then? Oh, okay. Hold on. First of all, you contradicted yourself just earlier. By who the are the that. high IQ people I'm ducking, bro? I'm. Oh, I I, I don't know. I'm not too familiar. Yeah, with right. Them. You don't know, right? I'm not but, ducking anybody. You saying that I that I uh, well, do more content than ever now? I don't, I don't. I don't think that there's too many quote unquote high IQ people. Well, then what is your criticism that I just do more debates, on. and because hold there's on. more Andrew. debates, that means the percentage of hold, low IQ people will necessarily hold increase? Down. You're freaking out, and it's like... Nobody's freaking out, dude. Your rhetoric's not going to work. Just answer the question without diverting. Stop diverting. Nobody's screaming. Stop diverting. You are. are Dude, just saying you are doesn't mean anything. Stop diverting. I have a question. Necessarily, if I increase the amount of content I do and debates that I do, is the amount of people you would consider low IQ necessarily going to increase? Is the okay? Re, re ask the question again. Okay, yeah. So if I increase the amount of debates I do on random platforms, which I have massively increased it, would you say that the amount necessarily of people you consider low IQ that I debate would increase? Uh, l- the amount of yes, it does. Actually. Yes, it does. So I don't know. What is your criticism here? The, well, the issue is that you're not doing any fine tuning for the type of people that you want to debate, and I think that's the issue largely. Be, but also. I don't think that there's too many people to select from, but I do recognize that you're just trying to grow your channel largely just because by debating only fan source. It's repetitive content that I don't think <laughs> is enjoyable to, I guess, maybe to the your fans who are largely stupid. Mm-hmm. Uh, as I think do you have any fans? Uh, yeah, I do. Actually. Yeah. What are their names? Can, I bet you can name them all in one hand, can't you? Uh, I can name them. No, I can't name all of them because it's a pretty vast amount. Oh, okay. I'm sure. Yeah. It yeah. Is. And what do you? And, but, but, and so, are, are so, you, so what do you? you so what do you put out? So what do you put out? You put out. You put out high IQ content. Doesn't seem like you do. No, I I have a sub stack. Oh, great! Know. You have a sub stack. Wow. Yeah, I do. That's I do. good stuff. I mean, are, are Are you interested in paying into it? Because I know nobody's paying for your content really, except your retarded members. So then, so then, lots of people are paying for my content. So you just contradicted yourself. <laughs> No, no, I, I wouldn't consider them autonomous people. I think they're stupid idiots who are buying. Well, that's like, nice. Stupid. I'm glad you could just make assertions. Oh, hold on. I mean, I mean, you can go to your Discord and you can check. Largely, these people come from the whatever podcast. I mean, the whatever. No, podcast. they don't. The Discord, that's, the Discord was actually, the Discord was huge before I ever easy. went on the whatever podcast. Wait, hold, I didn't say huge. I said I said the, a large majority of the people that are coming into your Discord come from the whatever. podcast. No, that's not the large majority that come in. No, it, it, it actually is. You can go check. Prove it. Your own admin, whatever is Mister Mister E, I think mm-hmm. his name is. He even told me this, so I don't know what's coming from him. That there's a big uh, there, yeah, there's a big uptick, but that's not the va- those are two different claims. Yeah, is it is it true that the vast majority are coming in, or is it true that there's an uptick? Which one's true? Both are. Okay, prove that the vast majority of the people coming into the Discord are from whatever. Prove it. Um. I'm not in the Discord. You can't prove right? it. So you just made a claim. Can't, you can't hold, hold, prove hold, hold. it. You're lying through your fucking teeth, right? Wait, wait, wait. Lying is different. Do you think I'm lying? Yeah, if you make an assertion, you, you absent think, wait, evidence on, that you know, you know is is an unprovable assertion that's just designed to be de- de- defaming. Yeah, I think that you, with intention, are not telling the truth. That's the correct. Ev- the evidence is coming from your own admin, Mr. Newmag. No, the evidence there is what? What is the evidence? I just told you. What uh, is it? Just, just saying it comes from X source doesn't tell us what the evidence is. It actually does. What is it? I just told you he monitors the amount of people because that dude monitors. Yeah, it's okay. So I, oh, yeah, get it. He monitors. He monitors the amount. Well, you want to answer the question? Him monitoring X amount of people. You what question? Okay, I'm going to ask you again. Him monitoring X amount of people who come in, and you saying that he monitors X amount of people who come in does not actually tell us how many people are coming in from whatever podcast to my Discord. Can you tell me? 
It and does, show, okay, you, prove you record, it. You record in your own server. What was the reason for you coming into this Discord? And it literally says on almost every single one, whatever podcast. That is not proof. That is How not, is that's that still not proof. not proof. What the fuck are you talking you about? You saying, okay, so first of all, demonstrate. I think you're just coping here. Bro, you need to coping. demonstrate. You the, have to demonstrate the claim. The okay, okay. Well, literally, every, literally almost time. everybody who goes to your sub stack is a homosexual. Uh, uh, the, do I need like to demonstrate that claim or do I not need to demonstrate that claim? Uh, no, I, I, well, you'd have to have any type of evidence. You know, do I you don't know need evidence. I, I can just make know. assertions. I, is, Everybody I, goes I, to your I, sub I, stack I, as I, a homosexual. I, I, I don't need I, evidence. I can just make assertions. Is witness testimony evidence? It's not reliable evidence, no. Okay, but is that evidence? It's not reliable evidence. Is it evidence? Okay, though? well, then I have eyewitness testimony by talking to you that the people who follow you must be homosexuals. That's evidence, right? Well, no, it, there's, there's reliability. Nope, it's eyewitness evidence. So, you know, even though it's not reliable, I, I, it doesn't matter. I, I, guess, I guess any rape claim within America is just absolutely defunct and useless, right? I mean, I'm not... I, first of all, first of all, nobody you, said you, that. By the way, Mr. E, Mr. E is here. Mr. Enigmatic is right here to explain this to you. Go ahead, Mr. Yeah, e. Your, no, no, hey, no, no, up, bro. You made the claim. Go ahead. What's up, fuckface? How's it going? What's up, Andrew's the greatest meat writer? What's up? Yes, Andrew's fucking uh, producer. It works with him side by side on helping build this wonderful show that you're currently dick riding. Very. I hard. haven't watched in the last three months. Then why are you here, you fucking moron? Well, because First I've seen the all, wait, hold You on, said I, I said, shut up, idiot. Because shut the, the podcast. Because the, the show deals with the show deals with. Hang on, let him. Let, uh, Geo, Geo, let him, shut let him, let him, let him respond up. to your allegation. Go ahead. Okay. First of all, I'm looking through the entry thing right now. And less than half of it are from whatever. I actually know <laughs> on everybody's account where they come from. And w if we did speak and you had asked me, where are people coming from? I say, well, recently, we've actually seen a lot of people coming through from whatever. But what you would fail to miss is we already had 3,000 fucking members, dipshit. So a lot of people coming in from whatever is like 100 people, 200 people out of 3,000. Is that the majority? Is this the fucking retard that says 30% is an overwhelming majority too? Is this the same guy? Is this the same retard that says this? You okay, let him respond, Mystery. Let him guy. respond. You're literally the same guy who said the 2020 election debates. No, no, no. Hang on. Let's right. start with the claim. Like, hang that. on. I want to start with the claim, Gio. Yeah, yeah, are you willing good. now to say that you are corrected and that you made a false claim that most of the people coming in from my Discord are from whatever? Mr. E literally just told you that is not the case. No, I don't think you're still not going to. Okay, okay, you don't think it's true? Can you show us? Can you show us the evidence then? Hold on, if I were, I don't. Why would I? would. I'd have to filter through. So you don't have the evidence. So you're just going to make claims. You're just going to make claims, bro. Actually, I actually will. I actually, Discord actually is pretty good filtering feature. So I will just join your Discord right now, and I'll filter through who is in the server. And in the last three months, what percentage of them came through whatever podcast? Okay. And I, I'd, I'd also say an overwhelming majority of your subs did also come in from the whatever podcast, FYI, because you're leeching off Brian, basically. No, most of them came in from the oh. Matt Dillahunty debate. So is, is just this this literally you fucking being mad that Andrew's popular? Is that all this is? No, it's just not. Mad I'm, that, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying that the content is degraded because I've, I've been watching like Andrew. Girl. Why I've don't been you watching... go and promote your oh sub stack and go and build something instead of fucking whining like a little what bitch? What is it with you freaking out in every single call that you're in, man? I'm you not freaking out, dude. You, you what do. is you're, it? Because I have to deal with retards like you on a daily basis. <laughs> you've every lost single three fucking years day. Off your life. <laughs> Idiots. You've lost three years off your life from fucking freaking out on an X. Lost bro. three years off my life. Okay, sure. Whatever, yeah. bud. All right, right. Well, let, let All right. Well, this is this is I'm this is it. not productive anymore. On. Hang on, hang on. It's maybe not productive from now anymore. On, I'll just fucking ban uh, retards like you immediately instead I'm of trying right. to address Rachel, it. Rachel, Rachel, you can throw it off the call. Look, it's you, a, were, we don't, you were going to. Get this has become retard. something something totally different now. <laughs> this has become a Spurg fest now. But yeah, anyway, I'm, I am Spurging. I fucking uh, had something to do with every fucking day. I get a dozen emails and a dozen DMs from retards saying retard shit. Like, just fucking get over yourself. Oh, he's more popular than you, or you don't like what he says. Fucking make something better, idiot. Don't cry. <laughs> don't whine. Don't bitch. Go make something better. If we're so fucking low tier and low effort, then it should be easy for you to fucking do better. Like, this is common sense shit. Well, uh, well, 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 th well, thank you, Mr. E, and uh, you have a wonderful day. <laughs> hey, thanks for having me. I had fun spurging out on this. I'm totally, I've totally lost my composure, right? It's not just all in good fun. All right. I'll see you, bro. Fun, boys. Yeah, we will.
All right, we'll bring it. We'll bring up the next caller. <laughs> <laughs>